Hi, and thank you for choosing BlueFX.net. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit your template by adding your photos and videos as well as editing the pre-animated text included in this template. First, let's see what we're going to be creating. This is how the final comp could look once you add your images and video. So let's get started. First, we are going to open the folder that we downloaded from the internet. Open the After Effects file with Adobe After Effects CS3 or above. Now we're going to see how to add text, media, your logo, and how to save and render our final project. To edit the text, you need to locate the text folder inside 01U Change folder. Double click the Text01 Composition. Now let's choose the layer called Slideshow from Text1 Composition. By double clicking the layer, you enter the edit mode. Here you can type your own text. Once we are happy with the result, we can close the comp. Here's another example. Double click the Text2 Comp and double click in the text layer to enter the edit mode and add your own text. Let's also edit the second line. In this case the style layer. Double click and add your custom text. We are going to continue this process with all of the remaining text comps in this template. Now let's add some photos and video. Locate in your media folder inside your computer. You can import multiple files at the same time by dragging while holding the shift or clicking and selecting them. Once they are selected, click Open to import to After Effects. Once they are inside and while they are selected, click and drag them to the 03 Images folder. This is just to keep things organized. Let's collapse this folder so we have a better look at our project. Click to expand the placeholder folder. Here is where all the image placeholders are going to be located. To select them all, click on the first comp and scroll down and click on the last comp while holding the shift. Once they are selected, click any comp to open them all at the same time. We can collapse this folder now and go back to the image folder again.
Click and drag each media file and drop them into each placeholder that we just opened. Once they are inside, you can close that comp. Let's drag another file inside the next comp. To help speed up the process, you can hit Command W on a Mac or Control W on a PC to close the comp that you have selected. Here's another example. In this case, the placeholder already has some text inside. You need to drag the media to the bottom of the comp so the text will show on top. Keep dragging all your files to each comp until you've finished with all of them. You can see we already have the final result once we imported all the media inside our project. Add your logo. Go to the text folder inside the 01U change and locate the Your Logo Here comp. Double click to open it. Once inside, you can double click on the first layer to enter edit mode and change the text. We can also import your own media by clicking the import file and locate your media on your hard drive. In this case, we're going to import the BlueFX logo. Click and drag it to the Your Logo Here comp. and hide the other layers. As you can see, the logo is already animated. In this case, let's scale our logo a bit more. Render. Click on the Composition menu and add to Render Queue. Click on the Lossless and select your codec. For this example, let's use the H.264 codec. Click OK and disregard this warning. Let's enable the sound output by checking this mark here. And click OK again. Click on the output to change the name and location of the file.
Finally, click Render to begin rendering this process with all our modifications. This process will depend on the speed of your machine. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and once again, thank you for choosing BlueFX.net.